Okay, I'm not saying they're the exact same. There are small differences, but apple juice and apple cider are functionally the same. Like, very small differences. And no one's talking about it. Like, they, we have twin substances that we are feeding, some to children, some to, like, adults, you know? And you know, why is one warm and why is one cold? That doesn't make any sense. No, I'm not gonna tweet about it because then the NSA knows what I... Oh, shit. Hi there. Welcome to Jake's Jingle James, where we want to wash away the absolute dumpster fire of a year that has been 2020 with smooth melodies, witty humor, and calming lo-fi over beautiful Christmas lights. If you're here, consider this video your prize for making it all the way through. Gather up your mountain of blankets, put both hands on your warm beverage, and make sure that your device is on Wi-Fi and not mobile data. Without further ado, I present to you your end of the year reward. I'll see you in about 30 minutes. They're the same. This is labeled cider. It's juice. buttons on it. Yeah, you have that. That's for you. I'm just gonna see what this one does. You know, I was, uh, I was a captain in the army. <laughs> Who are you? Cheddar soup. <clears throat> oh, well, you ever hear from ever you ever hear from from your uncle? <clears throat> yeah, that's how it goes. Safety doesn't stop when you come inside. The eye doctor said that I should start wearing glasses. Got me a pair of these. Come from Pete uptown. You know Pete? Pete's a good guy. Yeah, I like your cousin's music. It's good stuff. <clears throat> four rats in my basement that I can't get rid of. You ever caught a rat? I'll pay for your lunch money for a while if you come catch the rats in my basement. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> what'd you get me this year? You get me uh, that new Supreme Cinder Block, probably like five bands though, right? You got Balenci's in there, some Gucci, some Louis, some chill, whatever. <laughs> I'm just trying to like build my brand right now. I got at least 500 plays on SoundCloud. You know, it's I'd say it's going pretty well. Oh, hold on, I gotta take this. Yeah, so I got, Grandpa and Grandma, like, five bottles of Hennessy this year for Christmas. Cause, you know, just had to flex on them one time. <laughs> Got, like, ten new followers yesterday, so I had to, you know. <clears throat> My new album is coming out. You should definitely check that out. It's uh, a Merry Litmus. It's 
fire, dude. Like, it's gas. You're not even gonna be able to listen to it because it'll hurt, physically hurt you. And I'm worried for your safety, so. <clears throat> Are you still talking to uh, Trina? My wife is Kira. Okay. Yeah, we got married yeah. this summer. It was so oh, nice. Oh, right, that's gas. You should probably like post about that. You get hella likes out of that. <laughs> <clears throat> First track on the album is gonna be called In Santa's Bag because I'm always in my bag. Hold on. Texting my producer. What'd you say? <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, what? Bro, it is dead as hell in here. The ratio is way off. Uncle Art's kind of killing my vibe. He keeps asking me about people that are dead, like all of his World War II friends. Oh, really? Would a loser get 500 plays on SoundCloud on his first year of having the track posted? I don't think so. Whatever, dude. You have no clout, no sauce, and no juice. Later, bro. I have clout. Hey Google, play some relaxing Christmas music. Sure, playing Merry Litmus by KJ69 on Spotify. No, 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 yourself a merry little Christmas. May your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. From now on, our troubles will be miles away. Faithful friends who are dear to us, gather near to us once more. Through the years, we all will be together. If the faiths allow. A shining star above the highest bough, and have yourself a merry little Christmas now.
It's hard living out here. Calloused hands and feet, long days and nights. I'll just get myself on the nice side of the big fella in Red's list. Santa Claus, sure hoping you and the missus is doing well. Sure hope y'all got the list. Mighty strange look from the lady at the post office when I paid postage. I don't mind no looks. What I sure wouldn't mind, Care Bear Special Edition Collector Set with Exclusive Harmony Bear. Got a soft spot for that Harmony Bear. Of course, I'd be just fine if you decided to get me the LOL Surprise Sing Along Boombox. Help me get through those lonely, quiet winter nights when the wind and coyotes howl. Legos. All of them. Ain't picky about Legos. Nintendo Switch, so I can figure out where all them animals is crossing to. Maybe across the creek where I seen them deer the other day. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. Something about that cute little raccoon. Yeah, sure is a stinker, though. I don't know. Maybe it's time I moved away from all this. Move me somewhere, it don't take so much effort just to keep the heat going. And then again, living somewhere easy, <laughs> that'd just feel downright naughty. No, I'll stay right here, Sandy. Fresh milk, frosted cookies with extra butter, waiting for you outside the fireplace when you get here. We'll see you then. And Sandy, Merry Christmas. Arlen.
The Elves and the Shoemaker, a Christmas tale by the Brothers Grimm. Are you ready? All right. There once was a shoemaker who, from no fault of his own, had become so poor that at last he had nothing left but the sufficient leather for one pair of shoes. In the evening he cut out the leather, intending to make, you gotta listen buddy, make it up in the morning. And as he had a good conscience, he lay down to sleep, first commending himself to God. In the morning he said his prayers, and he went down to begin his usual work. But behold, the shoes were already made, and stood upon his board. The poor man was amazed, and he knew not what to think. But he took the shoes in his hand, and he looked at them more closely. And they were so neatly worked, that not a stitch was wrong, just as if they had been made for a prize. Surely, he said, in a tone of wonder. It must have been a master craftsman who made these. I do not know a shoemaker in the world who could have made them so beautifully. Presently, a customer came in, and as the shoes very much pleased him, he put down more than what was usual, and so much indeed that the shoemaker was able to buy with it leather for two pairs. I'm gonna try that again. Presently, a customer came in, and as the shoes pleased him very much, he paid down more than what was usual, so much indeed that the shoemaker was able to buy with it leather for two pairs. By the evening he had his leather shaped out, and when he arose the next morning, he prepared to work with fresh spirit. But there was no need, for the shoes stood there, perfect on his board. He did not want either for customers, for two came in so liberally they paid him for the shoes that he bought with the money material for four more pairs. These also, which he cut out the... Sorry. Sorry, Arlo. These also, which he cut out during the evening, he found already made when he awoke. And so it continued, that when he... What he cut out overnight in the morning turned into the neatest shoes possible. This went on for months. More and more people came to the shop to buy the shoes which his unknown friends made so well. And those who bought them were so pleased with their purchase that they told everyone else. Never had the shoemaker and his wife been so busy. Not only did the lucky man regain his former position, but he became more and more prosperous. <laughs> Don't worry, it gets better. One evening, not long before Christmas, as he had cut out the usual quality, rather, the quantity, he said to his wife, before going to bed. What say you to stopping up this night to see who it is that helps us so kindly? His wife was satisfied to do as he wished and fastened up light and they made themselves hidden in a corner of the room where hung some clothes which concealed them. As soon as it was midnight, in came two little elves who squatted down at the board and taking up their prepared work set to it with their little fingers stitching and sewing and hammering so swiftly and lightly that the shoemaker could not take his eyes off them for the astonishment. He had never seen work done so quickly. 
they did not cease until he was brought to an end. And the shoes stood ready on the table, and they sprang away quickly. The following morning, the wife said to the shoemaker, The little men have made us rich, and we must show our gratitude for them. For although they run about, they must be cold. Let us have... Sorry, I'm going to start over. The following morning, the wife said to the shoemaker, The kind men have made us rich, and we must show our gratitude for them. For although they run about, they must be cold, since they have nothing to cover their bodies with in this winter weather. I will make a shirt, a coat, waistcoat, trousers, and stockings for each, and you must make a pair of shoes of the very nicest for each. The husband very gladly agreed to this. And one evening, when they had got everything ready, he and his wife laid their presents, instead of the usual work, on the board and hid themselves to see the result. At midnight, in came the elves, jumping about, and soon prepared to begin their work. But when they saw no leather, only the finest little clothes, they were astonished, but soon showed their pleasure and glee. They drew on their coats, and smoothing them down, they sang, Smart and fancy boys are we, cobblers will no longer be. Woo! And so they went on, hopping and jumping over the stools and chairs, and at last out the door. After that evening, they did not come again, but the shoemaker prospered in all that he undertook and lived happily to the end of his days. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. What? Four calling birds, French, French hen, turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine babies in Eight, ladies dancing, seven, seven ladies dancing, six, six, ladies dancing, five. Better not shout, you better not cry. You better not in a pear tree. On the ninth, huh? On the eighth, what? On the seventh Dad, day of Christmas, my child gave to me. Here we come, a wasp, a snake, a monkey, a snake, a five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves. Here we come, a wasp, a snake, a monkey, 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 a snake, a
in a big pear tree. Partridge in a big pear tree. Hi, and welcome back. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed the show. It was a magical moment for me to see all of these various talented and creative people come together to produce something to lift spirits and celebrate art. You know, when the world seems dark, and when the weight of your problems comes crashing down, it helps to remember that there's someone out there struggling right alongside you and that we're more powerful when we come together than when we're apart. And that's really what the holidays are about. Coming together, especially at a time when we're being held apart. Thank you for watching, and happy holidays.